Century Tempest, the two worst units in Protoss Arsenal. <laughs> yes, yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is exactly the 10th episode of Century Tempest 2 Grandmaster. We're still at 4.9k and we're closing in on that 5000 MMR and the goal is to reach the 5100 MMR. We're not too far away from the goal. If you're a new viewer, welcome, welcome. Glad that you chose this video. Uh, I'm doing all sorts of challenges with different unit compositions in StarCraft 2. We're trying to get to the highest league in StarCraft 2, the highest ranked uh, league, which is the uh, Grandmaster playing pretty much the two worst units in Protoss Arsenal. Both Sentries and Tempest are not that great. They're not that useful in the standard, normal pro gamer games. But this is the 10th episode of that. And this guy is playing a 12th ball. We are under at wait what? <laughs> oh, no 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 no! We don't want this hatchery. No 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 no! We're making a forge, making a forge. Let's go, forgerino. I can only make sentries versus this. This is not the greatest all-in for me to defend. However, cannons are fantastic in this situation. Let's get a second. Wait, why do we need the second simulator so quick? I don't think I need it. I just get a. I'm gonna fully wall in, whatever. I'll play completely safe here since he's really, really, really committing here to this attack. There's the force, let's get this. It's in the range of my entire wall of. This is not the greatest map to do this uh, build on, I think, but we'll see if I'm going to be able to defend. To be honest, the six rings are very, very early. Now, I think the cannon is gonna finish before he can get to kill the building. I would like to see if he has a gas building. He has still no gas. That means he will go immediately for the. Uh, for the expansion. I guess I shouldn't have gone for the... For the second gas that early, but it's okay. I'm gonna finish the can. At least I'll get a very, very quick last one attack on these sentries. Alright. Uh, I'll gonna boost up the sentry to kill this overlord. That is the plan. I still don't have enough money for a nexus anyway. I need to find a way to... Uh, harass my opponent now. And it's only going to be... Thanks to Arvotic, Arvotic facility in the world. Oh, he finishes the evolution chamber. That's good for me. Minus 75 medals plus the drone. Minus 25. Pretty good. Ah! <coughs> okay. All good. So we'll just kill the overlord and we'll invest into the robotics facility and we'll go for the harassment. I'm not sure how well this is going to go, but that's definitely the plan. Uh, he already lost a lot of medals. He invested the... Uh, how much is Six Zerglings. 150 medals. Into the six zerglings, maybe even more. He invested into the hatchery, which he cancelled, which is 75 minutes lost. And the evolution chamber. That you guys do the math. That's that's too much. That, that, he just lost a lot of minerals, okay, already in this game. That's that's what I'm trying to to say. I'm also supply blocked. Because I was trying to do the math. My brain just cannot do so many calculations at, uh, at the same time, okay? Uh, the good thing is with this uh, warp that I'm building that I will be able to escort a probe on the uh, other side of my wall off, which will make me make a nexus relatively quickly at the third base, and that's what I need. I'm just gonna boost out the probes. Zerg can produce a lot of units out of the larvas quickly, so I need to start harassing as soon as possible to make use of the uh, damage that he inflicted onto himself. My wall gate is slightly late, I forgot to start it. It's okay. I'm gonna have uh, four sen three sentries, I suppose, and the rest I'm gonna warp in on the other side of the map. I'll even bring one prop with me. Maybe we can do a cannon machine uh, onto him. I really don't think he's gonna have... Uh, what is it called? Uh, roaches or ravagers. Let's see if it's gonna work. Okay, this probe is gonna stay here to make a nexus when I have the money. Oh, look at this. He's looking at the wall up here with the warp prism and the warp prism is gonna be very annoying for you to deal with as the sentries have plus one attack as well okay let's go very sneaky oh be quiet be quiet he sees me does he have anything against this oh. hello what you have in here I see a bunch of zerglings that are kinda useless here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! My friend. Who's the cheeser now, huh? He has no roaches. He has links. 
run, 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 go, 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 hide yourself. Yeah, the cans are finishing. We're looking good. I can start an exit if I if I need to. Okay, now this is going to be a bit annoying because the cans cannot reach much. That's fine. That spore is not going to be very useful here. Get another pylon. Wait, what? What is the spore? Do? What the spore? Oh, bailing, uh huh? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> It finally worked, guys, after so many episodes. I mean, it's still not done, but it is working good. It's gonna kill the pylon, but that's okay. Oh, that was a good kill. Right, I need more cannons. Ooh, are dying. I mean, it's still not working very well. But like, it, is, it is still working the best possible. Come on, come on, come on. Don't lose the, don't lose the warpism. More cannons here. Okay. Wait, I have no gases. Forgot to take the gases on my third. Uh, sorry, on my natural. Okay. He cannot really reinforce that much. He can only produce from the main uh, hatchery. No, I missed the force. Okay, never mind. That's good. I'm making more banings now. I cannot miss a force for the next time. Just cancel this. But I'm not gonna lose these. Force Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Survey the gases. <laughs> let's go. Block him. Block him. Yes, bailings are blocked as well. Let's go. I need a pylon here. GG. <laughs> let's go. It finally worked. It finally worked, the cannon rush with the war prism. After being cheesed with a proxy hatchery and a 12 pool, we out cheesed the cheeser. Oh, it's... I don't remember the last time I, I was able to win a game with this. I don't even remember the last time it worked to put me in a favorable position. It always, like, seemed to work, but then it just put me behind because, the, the like, the investment to do this is so, so big. Oh, <laughs> it feels so good to finally make this strategy work. Oh, one of the first opponents, if not the first opponent that is above 5,000 MR to play versus Sentry Temps. I'm not sure, wait, maybe I played versus like 5.2k Zergs. I don't remember, but this is definitely going to be a difficult, difficult matchup, especially since this is a Protoss versus Protoss. I mean, we had some success in Protoss versus Protoss with Sentry Tempest, but definitely not with Sentries only. Uh, the Tempests are going to be necessary to win this game. 99% sure. There's really not much I can do to destroy the Protoss of Sentries on the early aim, early on, especially since we're playing on a one gate expand map, which is favorable to me. However, the map is not 100% safe to play one gate expand because of uh, how large your main base is, which means that you can have a Warpism here, Warpism here, or Blink, or any kind of uh, stuff that you need to respect as a one gate expander. So it is still a decent map to play two gate uh, pressure or all in versus the one gate expander. But it's uh, definitely more uh, comfortable for me to play on this map rather than uh, the maps that do not have a ramp up to your natural. And my opponent is also playing Wanna Get Expand by the looks of things, which is very good for me in a sense that I can actually expand quite freely. Unless he goes for a second gate on the low ground, which would make it a little bit more uh, difficult yet again. I, I, I'm actually not sure what happens if my opponent goes for Mass Phoenixes. I've never played versus the uh, Mass Phoenix with Sentry Tempest. This would be a first. And by the looks of things, we are so far going into this direction. Okay. Yes, a slight magnetics going the way. Already a Zealot as well. He will try to make a pylon on, on my side of the map, which is very bad for me. We'll try to block him as well. He's saving Chronobus. He gets the pylon. I cannot make a Zealot. That's my problem. So I'll have to use a Sentry to. To deal with this. What I can do though is delay him with my own pylon and possibly a cybernetic score. But the problem is of course that this is far easier destroyed from him. By him I should say rather than uh, for me. I'll just start attacking the pylon I suppose. No, cancel, cancel. Need to get under a pylon here. Hit him. Nice. Good. I think a forge is necessary here. Maybe not necessary, but useful. 
He's not making any probes, that's... Makes me wonder, really. Okay, we need to cancel this again. Adept! Oh, he makes the Nexus immediately! This is pretty bad for me already. Uh, the good thing is for me that I see this is a Twilight Council opener. Okay. I'll get a Nexus on my off my own. It's okay. He didn't make a Cybernetic score, which is nice for me. The Adept is still here. Looking good. Let's start the plus one for the sentries. They're going to be useful to keep me safe. Looks like we're playing a macro game here. No pressure, no all-in. Just a solid macro. I like this. My problem is going to be adepts if he's going to make them in mass amounts. But we'll get to see that with the hallucination now. He's probably moving out on the other side of the map with one of his adepts already. Could be two, and that could be a problem. One is not a problem. There's go. There, there we go. Just one. I need to think of having a very fast third base somehow, some way. Because he's going to shade in the adept. Oh, he isn't going to move in. That's fine. Forge as well. We see a lot. Uh, he can complete this. Okay, that doesn't matter. He doesn't complete. No, it's all up to. Wait, he's actually for the a forge and blink. Honestly, this could be a depth. No. Okay, he has uh, one gateway only. Let's start making Tempest with the Stargate and try to take a third base before he has the significant amount of army to actually uh, put pressure on me. I think the later the game goes, the harder it's going to be for me to take a third base. So if I rush it, there is a possibility that he's going to overcommit and maybe tr uh, trade inefficiently. Maybe I can also scare him with... Uh, uh, with hallucinated mortals or something. Let's see, he's still composting a forge. Second, third gateway. Um, okay, there's two stalkers only. Fourth gateway is already. I'm not sure if this is the best idea here. Do we go... Do we play a Tempest or something? Yeah, let's just uh, confirm that we can secure this base. It's going to be much more important. Let's get a battery here as well. As soon as I can afford a fleet beacon, I'll do it. But for now... Actually, I think I'll uh, rush the fleet beacon now. Let's stop the pro production for a little bit. I have plus one attack. Oh shit. Oh, he's gonna see me. Uh... Can I warp in sentries? Oh, he's gonna see the fleet beacon as well. That's not good. This is the, the worst kind of scouting ever. Like, it's just a probe that walked into my base. This is not good. I need to get a, uh, get a visual on what uh, where he is at. Oh, he's already here. Okay. Could be worse. Is he, I think he's all ending. I don't. I don't see a third base from on his side. I'm a, in a bit of trouble. Let's see if he has a proxy gateway. I have, we have. Oh shit! He's already here. Okay, it's a decent trap for me. They're gonna blink over, right? Uh, this is not good. Gonna jump. Uh, jump down. I have a tempest on the way. Yeah, that's, a, that's an all-in, that's what I was worried about. Okay, I mean, I'm alive. I don't know for how long though. Yeah, I, I cannot do this. Here. I cannot do this. I cannot save myself, that's a... Ay, ay, ay. That's a very difficult situation for me to be in now. Well, we have to stay on two bases then. Maybe I can stick in a probe to the other side of the map. That's the problem of Protoss versus Protoss with Sentry Tempest. Like, Stalkers are so, so good against both Sentries and the Tempest. Let's see, maybe I can do something here. I have one Tempest. I need to get a... Okay. He knows this is a hallucination. I cannot really fight here. Let's just start fighting with the Tempest, I suppose. Cannot let him up the ramp like this. This is very bad. Maybe I can get a base here. I'm significantly behind in this game.
Okay, second star gate. Let's just start attacking with the Tempest, I suppose. I need to get the summit score. Yes, so much. Yes, so much here. And I have less units than I had just a moment ago. He probably has a third base already. E even if he doesn't, it's a bit problematic for me. I can camp here all I want. Oh. Okay, that's a big blink forward. Save the Tempest, maybe? The cannons are doing God's work here, that's for sure. I'm getting rid of the pylons, but I couldn't have more pylons. That is my problem. I have so many cannons. He very maturely is microing back. I think that's over. I just couldn't add more pylons. Oh, okay, I have one more. Fight, fight, fight. Okay, go back, go back. Please save your one Tempest at least. No, there's more. Oh, I, think I'm done. I think I'm done. He's gonna blink over, right? Yeah, that's really, really, really bad for me. Now I have no defense here. At least I have my natural secure, but so what? I cannot kill these stalkers ever. Damn it. I got a bit too greedy. I mean, I need to be greedy. I need to take a third base a bit faster. GG. There's nothing I could do. Uh, I need to figure out a way how I can secure a third base in Protoss vs. Protoss because I think it's by far my hardest uh, struggle. You can see how easily the Stalkers can outmaneuver the, the Sentries and the Tempest. Maybe I try to do too much at the same time. Like Maybe going for the Stargate is not the play, but maybe rushing for more Sentries but a faster third base is the play here. Uh, I'll see in the next games. Okay, let's try to get number three. Uh -huh, we have another 5,000 MR player, Ghost. Another PvZ and again on the Royal Blood. <laughs> I don't think we should try the Cannon Rush again uh, with the Warp But we'll see. Maybe the game will... Allow me to do this uh, strategy again. It worked so well in game number one. But I definitely need to do some adjustments to Protoss versus Protoss. Maybe the map is more difficult. Like on Dragon Skills, like securing third base is really not that easy. We'll see. Once once we get another Protoss, we'll try to figure stuff out. Right now, let's focus on this Protoss uh, versus Zerg. Of course, if you guys do enjoy the content, don't forget to subscribe. To the channel. I'm trying my hardest. I'm uploading every day. I'm on my way to the 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. That's my goal. We're at around, I think, uh, 8,200 subscribers as uh, of the moment of recording this video. And it's looking like it's a possible goal to hit that 10,000 subscribers. Let's do this. It looks like this guy is going to take a third hatchery or first hatchery on the third base location, which is the most standard thing, if you get your hatchery blocked, but he could be faking, oh my god, not again, Dude, what's wrong with these Zergs today, oh my god, <laughs> let's go, let's go, okay, uh, that's not a full wall from me, oh my, it's a full, <laughs> it's the same strategy, it's gonna be much worse for me this time though, my fort is super late, my fort is super, super late, Okay, I need a secondary wall off, I think. Oh, this is far worse than the first game. Far, far worse. I need to uh, rush like three cannons immediately. I think. Oh my god. Uh, he, he cannot really break the walls that easily. That's a good thing for me. Oh, he cancels. Uh, let's get a cannon here. I need to remake a wall off, I think. I cannot make a sentry. That's a problem. I'm gonna lose the gateway. Okay. One cannon is going to be enough for me. Let's just start warp gate immediately. Gonna need it. Uh, he cannot kill the wall of quickly enough. I should be fine here. Even if I lose the force, I can rebuild it. Okay. Just rebuild it. We're fine. Okay, that's a big investment from me though. Okay, there was an attempt of running by. Okay, now we are not in a great spot. The only good part about this for me is that I didn't lose a single probe. And he lost some of his Zerglings. But my tech is significantly behind. I lost my forge. 
I had to rebuild it, so I lost a gateway and a fort, so 300 minerals. That's a little bit more than he did. But, you know what? We can actually try to do the cannon rush again. <laughs> but I think it's gonna hit too late. I don't think it's gonna work as well as it did in game number one. However, we'll see. Like, I'm not 100% sure about that. I think I'm risking a bit too much. I think taking a third base is going to be a far better situation. Let's do it. Let's just take a third base, I think. I don't think it's gonna increase my chances significantly if I go for the Warpism. But I'm so tempted to do it, though. I'm super tempted to do it. You haven't seen that many Tempests this, uh, this episode. Yeah, we'll be able to kill his Overlord, which is nice. My work is going to finish. I'm really tempted to do it. <laughs> I, I'm a bit conflicted. Like, I want to play at the Tempest game. Because I think my the higher chance of winning is for sure going uh, for the Tempest and, like, cannons in the third base faster. For sure. But the fun part is kind of rushing the Cheezer. And you, you have a lot of opportunity. You don't have too many opportunities like that in your lifetime, so... That's what I'm gonna try to do. Well, he sees the Robo. Let's just clear the Zerglings from the front. I'll make a third base anyway. I can afford it. My economy has been good the entire time. Let's just do it. I have only single gateway though. Whatever. Let's do a non-committed cannon ash right there. I don't have that many force fields. Let's go. Let's see if he's going to be prepared for that or not. Get the gas immediately. I will make a second. Actually, no. Let's get a target immediately. I'll start going for the Tempest. I need to save some of my uh, money for the cannons aggressively as well. Just cancel on the pro. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Attempt number two. No creep. That's already a start. Okay, that's something. Okay, he's gonna pull the drones. I don't think I can do much here. Can I? I cannot. Uh, pulling the drones is actually pretty good. Hmm. Okay then. That was a complete fail. But I have a secondary plan, which is the Tempest already. Let me make some cannons here, just to fool around with him. Let's go. He has a lure. F plus one now. Okay, that's a lot of drones. Kind of trapped. A lot of Zerglings as well. Looking good. Okay, let's just make some cannons here. It's not, so, it's not a significant uh, position to hold, but it's good. He probably has a third here, the linear one. Okay, let's try to do some more harassment. We can kind of advance with... Oh, he's patrolling with the Zerglings. That's nice by him. Could be Nidus. Wait, it's Hydras. Crazy. Is it two base Hydras? No way, right? No way it's two base. I'm gonna need shield upgrades, I think. Oh, it's three base, okay. And so the cannons are not gonna find much use. <laughs> At least he's on a very, very low drone count. That's good for me. Uh, I need more gateways. Maybe some gateways to make a wall off would be nice as well. But we need to start Tempest first. Okay, can I get an Overlord kill or something? He's making Hydras on low drone count, which is good for me. Hydras are very expensive units. They're good when you have a higher economy. On a low economy, they are they are becoming kind of like an all-in unit, you know? That you need to win the game with. He still has no Ravagers, by the way. Oh, Hydras? Okay. Pulling the Jones is already good for me. That's a lot of mining time loss. Plus, I'm buying myself time before he attacks me, right? I'm gonna have a lot of Tempest. Kill this queen. He's attacking. Okay, let's go. Cannons, batteries. We should be good. He's fully sending it. He doesn't care. Okay. He doesn't care about his... Oh! He's ahead in supply even! I lost only three units. 
He has like the entire army here. I have two Tempest. I mean, the, he had a legit chance of fighting this. I don't know why he leaves. He's he has twice the army supply. That's the the equivalent of a mental difference. Like this is not a one game by by me by any means. I was capable of of defending this, but it will all come down to the micro. What is this? <laughs> Man, the Zerg cheesers today. Not really great mentality. Okay, I'm not gonna start the next game of Sentry Tempest because I'm afraid that it might go for far too long. This is going to be one of the shorter videos, so thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I had a lot of longer videos with Sentry Tempest because most of the time the games go into the macro. Hope you enjoyed the, the games and I'll see you on the next episode of whatever I put. Have a great rest of the day, take care and bye bye.